If you are like me and use TradingView to view the price of Bitcoin every single day, and uh, but you just don't want to pay that crazy subscription fee per month just to use something that basically is for free but you want to add more indicators onto it and you're like oh i can only add two indicators onto it but i want to add five and you want to know how to do it this is the video for you i'm going to show in this video how to take a completely empty uh, screen with no indicators on it and add your custom indicators just by copy and pasting or writing a little bit of code by yourself so with that said, this video is all about adding a, 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 technical, uh, a technical analysis indicator for you of the exponential moving average. So without any further ado, let's just get started. Now remember, this video is for free. I'm not going to charge you $20 or 20 euros a month to copy and paste this code or write this code out yourself. I'm charging you nothing whatsoever. All I'm asking you to do is move your mouse right now over that thumbs up, left click, and that is literally it. And if you want to subscribe to this channel, then do that as well. Uh, I will be super, super grateful for that. But if you don't want to, I don't mind. I'm still going to give you the code as well. So with that said, let's jump straight in. The code is as simple as, right, writing plots. Let's get rid of this plot here right now. Now you've got to basically say at version five for the time being, right, and then say it's an indicator. We're just going to call it, we're just going to call it uh, tester one, right? And we'll save this here and we'll just say tester one. Now we have it here, right? And inside of this, we are going to say TA, right? And then we're going to say EMA, and then here we're going to say close, this is the first parameter, and then we are going to say here, right, and I'm going to copy and paste it because it's easier, because you, you might want to do this more than once. Okay, so what we're doing here is we are basically making a variable with uh, this one, um, with this with this one um, number inside of it, right? But if you want to be able to edit it later, this is going to allow you to go onto the settings and edit it later as well, all right? Because of your indicator. So it, it just seems a little bit of housekeeping is better to do, right? So we're, what we're saying is we're, this level one is going to allow us, once it's in the indicator on the screen, to be able to come in and dynamically change this level, this, this number five, when required, the value used for the five period EMA. And th this five is completely the arbitrary you could change it to whatever you want right so we have to do that and then what we are going to do next is we're going to say what color we want it and it's the american spelt color and we're just going to say color red just to make it super easy and you could choose rgb here and we're going to give it a title as well and we're going to say EMA uh, 5 just for the sake of doing that and now you, you'll find that there's some text like, like this text up here if you don't want this number up here you can basically just dis say display and say display uh, none there but we want the um, we want it to actually display on the screen on our, our uh, chart so you have to say pan pan is just basically saying display on your chart right and once you've done that it's not going to show right now you have to say add to charts and then you do this and it's not coming on, right? And why is that not coming on? Because we have forgot indicator plots. What am I missing here? Display equals pan, yes. Okay, this is the one thing you have to do. You have to say overlay is equal to true, right? Because in the beginning, it's uh, let's just remove the indicator once again, right? And this time we'll say add to charts. And now, this time, we should see... Oh, we do see the line there. You see the line came up already. We have to zoom in a little bit to see it. And now you can see the red line. So let's just change this to, to purple because we don't have a purple on the screen. And it'll update as it goes along, right? So you can add as many of these as you want. So let's just copy and paste this, and we'll say eight here, for example, or let's just say 200. Let's make the, the largest one, shall we? And let's say a level six, if this is what you want, a level six. And we're gonna say 200 here, and then we'll say 200 here, and we'll make this, have we got a gold? We'll say an orange, maybe. Let's say orange, and then we'll say level six here, all right? 
and now when we do this we should be able to see now you have the 200 email come on here and it's literally copy paste copy paste copy paste as many times as you want and what I was talking about here is on the inputs you see you can have this level one and we've got um, the group so we can start saying uh, on here if you want to group these all together if you've got other um, different types of indicators you can add this uh, this group to it which we have sorry level one uh, group was already here right the input the input field was on the group so if you want if you change the name of that to group one and the update it again you'll see you've got EMA one and then EMA here okay this is the different groups that you can put all of the input fields on it but if you give it the same name then it will sit in the same group right and what I was saying is display if we just display all here right you'll notice that that the number five comes up here because this is the value that we are putting in came up here but that's seems to be a little bit pointless right and you can say display none there because we don't want this number to display at all we just want the EMA to take in this number all right so this is basically it this is how to add that so that's two now but obviously you can add two with the the standard subscription or the free free version of TradingView so we want to go as far as to add three now so let's add um, this is going to be then the 300s and we're going to change this to 300 and change this to 300 I mean it's a little bit of messing around in the beginning but once you've done it you've done it and level 5 level 5 200 200 there 200 200 there and uh, yeah we're all good we're all good so now we've got yeah okay the num the, the thing is going to be changed down here and we're going to say uh, I don't know blue and so now you've got the 200, 300, and the 5. So if you wanted to add a lot more on, this is how you add a, um, a, a, a exponential moving average to it. Super, super simple. And once you've saved it, you can come here and then go on open. And then if you want to add another, uh, here's my DJ uh, Thorn trading indicator, which the moderators on TradingView decided to take it off of, of the community because it was adding too many indicators on that's the whole point of open source I was assuming <laughs> and we can add that to the chart and now we've got two indicators on there right <laughs> two indicators on there with loads of indicators inside of it as well super super easy if you're going to allow people to use your software and add scripts on it as well uh, then then you have to allow them to add scripts onto it and manipulate it by themselves otherwise shut this off for for subscription paid paid versions you know anyway with that said I hope you got something out of this you know I'm not here to profit from it I don't want your money <laughs> you just just use it for free that's the whole point of open source is and that's what I do the YouTube videos for is to make sure that people can get stuff that's free because that's the whole point of education it should be for free okay um, I'm, like I said I'm only asking you just to, to give me a like if you want to give me a like other than that I hope you've got something out of this thanks then ciao ciao bye bye